Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, a bill from the bygone era of World War I, a relic of history, might be the sledgehammer that shatters the royal titles of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. The echoes of this potential law have reverberated through the hallowed halls of Westminster, and the man wielding this legislative sword is none other than the Chancellor himself, Rishi Sunak. Now, before you dismiss this as mere conjecture, let's delve into the depths of this unprecedented proposal. Conservative MP Bob Seeley ignited the spark, and now Rishi Sunak fans the flames by considering laws hailing from the Great War. These laws, initially crafted to deny German nobles their British titles, could now be wielded against our very own Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Seeley, a staunch supporter of the monarchy, argues that this is the nuclear option, a drastic measure in response to the ongoing feud between the Sussexes and the royal family. In his words, it's about respecting the decision of those who want to sever ties with royalty by stripping them of their titles and privileges. A bold move, indeed. But what does this mean for Harry and Meghan? Enter the realm of Mark Boardman the sage of entertainment insights, who warns of catastrophic consequences for the royal couple if this bill sees the light of day. Boardman, CEO of Mark Meats, paints a vivid picture of a financial earthquake that would shake the very foundations of the Sussex's world. Imagine, for a moment, the loss of not just titles but income, position, and power. The reverberations would be felt across the Atlantic where the couple now resides in the sun-soaked enclaves of Montecito, California. This, my friends, is not just a slap on the wrist, it's a sledgehammer to their financial empire. But let's dissect this further. Boardman points out that the impact would be asymmetrical, with the loss affecting the prince more than the actress. Meghan, he contends, has carved her own path in the United States, with popularity tethered to her individual achievements and personal qualities rather than a royal title. The prince, on the other hand, stands to lose not just a title but a significant part of his identity. The ramifications extend beyond mere titles. They delve into the heart of commerce and celebrity. Their partnership with Netflix, a commercial deal intricately tied to their personal brand and public image, could crumble like a house of cards. The financial fallout might be colossal, a turning point of irreparable proportions. As we absorb the shockwaves of this revelation, it's essential to recognize that the game is evolving. The Sussexes, who once basked in the glory of royal titles, now find themselves at the mercy of historical legislation. The monarchy, it seems, is not a realm to be taken lightly, even by those who choose to walk away. In conclusion, the storm clouds gather, and the fate of Harry and Meghan hangs in the balance. The House of Commons contemplates a move that could redefine their existence. The drama unfolds, and the repercussions are nothing short of cataclysmic. Will the Sussexes be reduced to mere mortals, stripped of their regal monikers? Only time will unveil this tale of power, pride, and the inevitable consequences of a game played in the shadow of royalty. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.